Hi everyone, in this video training, I'm going to show you how to install Laravel 12 in Windows 11 computer. It's a beginner friendly tutorial. I'll show you everything step by step. First of all, I'll install Jam server. If we install Jam, we will get PHP, MySQL, and Apache. Then we'll install Composer, a dependency manager for PHP, and we'll install Node.js to manage NPM packages. Then we'll install Laravel 12. So everything will be step by step. Watch the full video and install Laravel 12 today. Okay, so let's get back to the browser. First of all, I'm going to search for Jamf. I'm going to click on this link, first link, and click download. And I'm using Windows 11. And here you can see the last one. It offers PHP version 8.2.1. So I'm going to hit this button and download this package. And here you can see Jamf is downloading. Here you can see we have downloaded Jamf. So to install Jamf, I'm going to right click on it. And here you can see run as administrator. Click run as administrator. Welcome to Jamf and hit OK. Click next, next. And here you can see Jamf is being installed in the C drive. You can install in any drive. Okay, hit next, hit next, hit next. Well friends, here you can see Apache HTTP server needs permission. I'm going to hit allow. And it's done. So hit finish and the jam control panel will open up. If you don't see this, just search here jam and you will see control panel. Just click on it. It will open up here again. Okay, friends, here you can see it installed Apache, MySQL and some other packages. I'm just going to click start and it will start Apache and click here start and it will start MySQL. MySQL also needs permissions. Just hit allow. Okay, everything is fine. Let's see everything works. So open up the browser and type localhost. Hit enter. And here you can see XAMPP, Apache, MariaDB or MySQL, PHP, everything is working. Here you can see PHP info, just click on it. And here you can see we have the PHP version and uh, here you can see php my admin click on it and here you can see php my admin from here we can create mysql database so we could successfully install the jam server i mean jam package now here you can see this part is complete we have installed jam now it's our time to install composer okay so let's get to the browser and search for composer download hit enter click the first link and here you can see windows installer composer setup.exe click on it and it's downloading here you can see composer is downloaded click over here and here is the composer. I'm going to double click on it to install it. Click run. Install for all users. Click next. And here you can see it could detect the PHP directory. I mean the PHP uh, path. Okay, what I will have to do is just check this box and click next. Click next. Click install. Okay, click next. Hit finish. Fantastic. Okay, now open CMD. Hit open. And I'm going to type composer space hyphen B. Hit. And here you can see, I could successfully install the composer. The composer version is 2.8.1 on. Okay, I'm going to minimize this guy. Now let's check our progress. Here you can see we could install 
composer now it's our time for node.js so i'm going to click over here node.js search for node.js click the first link and get node.js okay here you can see windows installer click on it it's also downloading okay click here and here is the node.js installer just double click on it hit run wow click next i accept the agreement click next click next 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 click finish okay here you can see cmd click here and i'm going to open command prompt again and this time i'm going to type node space hyphen v here you can see node version is 22.18 that means i could successfully install node.js also so friends we are here we could successfully install all of this all of this now it's our time to install laravel 12 and before we install laravel 12 we need to tweak our PHP INI file. We have installed our PHP in the C drive. Here you can see C drive. Just go to C drive. Here you can see jump. Just click on it. And here you can see PHP access that. And we are going to look for INI file. Here is the PHP.INI file. I'm going to open with notepad. I'm going to bring it here and I'm going to press Ctrl F and search for zip. I'm going to click here and here you can see a PHP extension that is zip and it is commented, I mean enabled, disabled. I'm going to remove this clone to enable it and I'm going to press Ctrl S to save the file okay here you can see it is enabled now this extension okay i'm going to close this and close everything and open it and now i'm going to stop the apache and start again and this will restart the php stop my sql start again that's great well friends let's install laravel 12 now okay to install the laravel 12 just search for laravel hit enter and here is the official website and on the right side here you can see documentation just click on it and here you can see getting started and under it is install just click on it okay here it says we need php composer node already we have all of this but we don't have this laravel installer laravel installer is a pretty simple tool to manage and create laravel application easily so here you can see if you already have php and composer you may install the laravel installer via composer here is the code i mean command just copy it and get back to the folder i'm going to navigate to c drive our jam stdocs it is the public directory i mean root directory i believe you know it just go inside it and i'm going to click over here and type cmd and i'm going to paste the command here and hit enter okay the installer is installed okay then let's see what we have again okay let's create an application here is the code laravel new and then the name of the application okay so i'm going to type laravel and type new and then the name of the application we are going to create i'm going to type lms lms site okay now hit enter 
spoil friends here you can see which starter kit would you like to install you can install the react starter kit view starter kit for your front end but i want to focus on the back end so i'm going to type none i don't need right now then which testing framework do you prefer i prefer pest it is modern and really fun to use so press zero it enter well it says which database will your application use i'm going to select my sql hit enter okay do you want to run the database migration yes hit again well friends here you can see another questions would you like to run npm install and npm run build i want to focus on the backend and it will install the npm packages but i don't need right now so say no and hit enter okay fantastic now the laravel installation is complete okay i'm going to navigate to my st docs here you can see new uh, project lms site if i get inside it here you can see the laravel files okay that's great so i'm going to write a command dir and here it shows the directories okay lms site so i'm going to cd lms site okay now i'm going to start my application now i'm going to start the application so i'm going to write another command that is php artisan serve hit enter okay i did the mistake artisan ti hit enter okay now on this ip we have our website okay open a new tab and type http clone slash slash one two seven zero one zero one clone and our port is eight thousand hit enter wow we have got our laravel project up and running here is the ip address you can see over here okay if we want to access manually using the apache or localhost then we will have to dive into localhost okay localhost then 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 lms site enter public hit enter now we can see the same thing okay well friends so let's get back to here php admin i'm going to reload this page and you can see a database lms site it has been created by the laravel itself and if i go to stdocs you can see lms site so if i go into lms sites here you can see app bootstrap config database public all the files we have got because of laravel so friends i believe now you could uh, perfectly install laravel 12 watching this video don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to this channel thank you for watching hope to see you again